So you have a problem. You're a dirty damage playing scrub, and worse, a mage main. And all your games look like this. Blech. But you don't think you're a bottom, and you're certainly not a top. So what do you do? Do you take a chance? Stepping outside of your limits to develop your skills and paint a fuller picture of what it means to be good at the game? <laughs> no. Gul'dan is a versatile and powerful hero. In a team or solo queue, he can cover whatever role is needed to claim victory. Gotta fight? He can fight. Gotta push? He can push. He even works just fine in double, triple, or light help us quadruple mage comps, as his main source of damage has a short enough cooldown to cover the gaps between other casters' spells. And he never ever has to stop. A well-played Gul'dan can stay on the battlefield from start to finish, punishing weakness wherever he sees it. The amount of damage this hero can output is absurd. His kit doesn't have as much utility as other mages, with a big butt at level 10. Still, he's always there, poking the enemy over and over and over. But you know, you can only be annoying for so long before people start hitting you. One step out of place and you're done. So why would you ever step into a fight? Well, while your damage is great, your kill pressure isn't. What do I mean by kill pressure? I mean a hero's ability to secure a pick with burst damage, crowd control, or running down a wounded opponent. With Gul'dan, you kinda have to let him kill you. Sure, he's got high damage, but you could just get out of the way. You can take a few hits from his spells, and unless you eat his whole combo, he's probably not gonna kill you. Though if he does, you kinda deserve it. Like if he kills you, it's less, how the fuck you do that? And more, wow, I was dumb. Plus, he's got no mobility. Uh, but actually, yeah, I know about Demon Portal, and I know it's amazing, but you have to wait the entire game to get it, so it doesn't count. Anyways, unless your enemy makes a mistake, you're either overstepping the fight to preempt a chase, or you're playing catch up with the fight until one team falls over. Positioning is important. Having such high damage, but being unable to collect on it can be frustrating. Seeing all these heroes with low health, I just I just have to hit him one more time. I can get the kill. I can get it. I can I guess being greedy shouldn't come as a surprise. They did a really good job capturing the essence of warlocks with this hero. Phenomenal cosmic powers and tunnel vision. I'll say it again for the people in the back. It's not that Gul'dan can't get kills, he just can't chase you. A Gul'dan player has to be aware of his positioning at all times, which means having an idea of where the enemy team is. That means sometimes you have to let those kills go, which isn't even a bad thing. You can get a lot done on this hero while the enemy is busy licking their wounds. A Gul'dan left alone is a Gul'dan that thrives. In a fight, you get tons of free damage and your pressure on lanes is insane. Delete those minions, then start smacking structures and punish anyone who engages on you carelessly. To beat Gul'dan, you need to hit him hard and fast. Long, drawn-out fights are his specialty, constantly whittling down the enemy's health and mana until they retreat or die, and he's the only one left standing. Unlike other heroes, Gul'dan doesn't regenerate mana. This means he has a limited number of spells before he has to life tap, which is when he's most vulnerable. It's kind of silly that a character in class known for pursuing power at any cost and is incentivized to spam abilities actually requires so much consideration when using spells. Being reckless leaves you lifeless. Don't be afraid to check bushes. Always know where the bad guys are before you start eating yourself. I wouldn't recommend this if you're new, but if you're one for a little trickery, you can even use life tap to bait opponents into hasty ganks. Drain life is a three second channel that siphons health from a target. This spell is the linchpin of Gul'dan's kit. Drain life immobilizes Gul'dan for as long as he channels. It's effectively a self root. You can cancel it early if you need to skedaddle, but most likely this ability comes out to regain as much health as possible. It can also be used to finish off weakened opponents as the spell's leash is a little bit further than its cast range. This is by far the most important spell Gul'dan has as one, it's free, and two, it fuels all the others. Felflame releases a lot of damage in a cone fanning outwards from the warlock. While it's tempting to fire off this spell on cooldown, you need to get value from each cast. Felflame is expensive. 75 manas. At level 1, heroes have 500 mana. This means you can only push Q 6 times before you have to life tap. That's this many. You can use the time you spend not spamming the spell to position and aim. Spending all that mana, you gotta make sure you hit at least one thing. That's doable, right? You can, you can hit one thing, right? Now, you wouldn't be a warlock if you didn't do damage over time. Corruption has a much longer reach than Felflame and hits three times in three circles moving away from Gul'dan. Keep your target's movement in mind to maximize damage. The spell stacks up to a maximum of three times on a target and lasts for six seconds per stack. Hitting a hero more than once with this spell resets the duration of each dot to six seconds. With a 14 second cooldown, you need to be even more sure that you won't miss, but you have time to be patient. And there's nothing quite like hitting a perfect corruption.
Oh yeah. You also wouldn't be a warlock without a fear. Remember that big butt? At level 10, Gul'dan gets Horrify. This spell wins games. A properly placed Horrify can split up a team, isolating a vulnerable target, disrupting an engagement, or canceling enemy abilities. This ult silences enemies and forces them to run away from the center of the spell. You can use it to land a cheeky corruption, but it's way too valuable to be used for such trivial means. Horrify can send some poor sucker running into your team's open arms. The slight delay can also be used to your advantage. You are not prepared. I was. Picking this proves that just because intellect is your main stat, it doesn't mean you're smart. If all you want to do is make your screen flash green for a few seconds, this is the ultimate for you. I want to be perfectly clear. Gul'dan has only one ultimate. Gul'dan has only one ultimate. Gul'dan has only one ultimate. No one in the history of HOTS has ever seen a reign of destruction Gul'dan and said, Aw oh man, now we're fucked. This spell has a real chance of doing nothing. What a waste of level 10. Even when it does hit, individual meteors do less damage than a Q that hits one target. What are you doing? Stop. Don't pick this. Gul'dan has only one ultimate. If you absolutely, positively must play a ranged assassin, you really can't go wrong with Gul'dan. He can fit into any team composition, even the dreaded double mage, dominating the battlefield with endless poke and sustain, provided players have practiced their positioning and resource management. Just be mindful of his limits. His only escape tool comes extremely late into the match, and it's really easy to tunnel on your targets. But with a little bit of foresight and game sense, Gul'dan becomes an oppressive force that excels in all aspects of the game. It's already been a year? Thank you everyone for watching. It's been a lot of fun making content and I've learned so much while working on this series. If you like the videos on this channel and want to see more or new content, consider leaving a tip on Patreon or signing up as a channel member on YouTube. Your support means I can spend more time on polish and production to make better content for you to enjoy. And an extra special thanks to all my longtime supporters and subscribers. I can't do this without you. See you in the next video.